Now that we have the ability to run tests, we'll look at how we can set up and tear down a mock Firestore database. In the helpers.js file, we'll export two functions, one called setup and one called teardown. Setup will be responsible for creating a database instance, loading our rules, and populating it with mock data. Teardown will be responsible for deleting that app after the test has finished. At the top of our file, we'll import two helper at the top of our file, we'll import two functions from the Firebase rules unit testing library, load Firestore rules and initialize test app, and also read file sync, which comes from the built-in Node.js file system package. Our setup helper will take two arguments, auth, which is a mock user, and then data, which is mock data we want to populate in Firestore. Next, we'll create a variable for our project ID. Then we'll create a variable for app, which calls the initialize test app function and passes the project ID and the mock user for authentication. This will create a Firebase app that we can use for testing. It can do the same things that the main Firebase SDK does, but is only used for the context of testing. In our case, we're really only concerned about Firestore. So we'll go ahead and make a reference to Firestore. And then finally, at the bottom here, we'll go ahead and return the database instance so we can use it in our tests. Now, in order for our test to work, we'll need to seed the database with some mock data. The current database instance is locked down, so it's not suitable for creating any kind of data we want. What we actually need is a tool that can create anything in the database without regard for our rules. And the tool to do that in Firebase is the Firebase Admin SDK. In order to use it, you'll want to make sure you have the Admin SDK installed in your project via NPM. Then we'll import the initialize admin app function, and then we'll use it to initialize another Firebase app, this time with the Admin SDK in our setup function. It takes a project ID as its argument, which should match the project ID that we're currently using. Then we can use it to add documents to the database that we need for testing. We'll define the mock data in the next video, but basically we just pass in an object that represents the structure of the database that we want to create. Once we have that object, each key will represent the document ID, so we can make a reference with the admin database, and then we'll call rep set to commit the data as a document. Now it's important to understand at this point that our rules have not been applied to this project yet. That means we can write or read any data in the database at this point. In order to apply rules, we need to load them into the project, and we can do that by calling the load Firestore rules function. We'll pass it the same project ID, and then tell it where to find our rules using the read file sync method from Node. And that takes care of our full database setup. From there, we'll move down to our teardown function, which will remove the app when we're done testing it, and also clear the data from Firestore. We do that by calling promise.all, then Firebase apps, and map each one of them to the app delete method. You might have multiple Firebase apps running at the same time, so this will just go through and delete all of them. In addition, the Firestore testing library has a function called clear Firestore data. We can call this to clear out all the data from the database. It's not required, but in most cases, you don't want your data to persist across multiple test sessions. Now let's switch over to our rules.test file to put these functions to use. First, we'll make sure to import setup and teardown from the helpers file. From there, we'll use describe to describe our test suite, which will give a name of database rules. Inside the callback function, I'll declare a variable for our database, then use the before all hook to run some code before all of our tests, which in this case should set up the database and define that variable. Likewise, we have an after all hook which will run after all the tests have finished, in which case we want to call our teardown function to delete the Firebase apps and clear out the database. That takes care of our setup and teardown. Now we're ready to start writing some real tests.